Good afternoon everyone. Welcome, a warm welcome to another video and we are finally back out, yes. It's a beautiful spring day and um, I'm with you today in the southeast of England and I'm on a 14 to 15 mile trail through a forest. Now, it's been quite a while since this here hike has been out hiking, so I decided to go easy on myself. So we're gonna spread it over a couple of days with a cheeky little wild camp. Um, so I'm gonna do a leisurely seven or eight miles today. And then I've got a location in mind in the forest for an overnighter. And then uh, all being well, we'll finish the rest off tomorrow. Now you might have noticed uh, a large building behind me and that is because this forest is still a little bit suburban. So we're not completely wild yet, but I'm sure as I keep going, I'll get away from all of this. Welcome back everybody. It's about half past one. I think it's time for a bit of lunch on this leisurely walk this morning. Um, decided to make life easy for myself and I've made sandwiches. No catch and cook on this video I'm afraid. So if you're tuning in for that, sorry to disappoint you. It is good old cheese and pickle sandwiches made at home. Banana. And uh, what I've done here, maybe some of you do this, uh, I've made up this sort of trail mix. So it's um, sort of like a mix nut selection. And then I put some M&Ms in there as well. And that's just been a nice little kind of energy boost, uh, high in fiber, it says on the packet, just to kind of keep me going um, throughout the morning so far. So I haven't gone that far. Um, probably done about three miles, something like that. As I said at the beginning of the video, I'm just really enjoying just just taking my time with this one. It's been eight long months since I've sort of properly been out on a little micro adventure, if you like, and it's just really nice just to take my time, you know, and I've not listened to my phone or music or anything like that. I've just been listening to the sounds uh, around me, um, some of which you can hear now. You might hear the old police siren, but there's also been some nice natural sounds as well. Uh, so, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to just have my lunch here. Time to eat. Right, lunch done. Um, we've got about another four miles until we get to our destination, folks, for camping tonight. I'm gonna to get cracking on that, and I'll see you in a bit.
Yeah, see the problem is these bags, they're so floppy, they're really hard to fill up when you've got a shallow flow like this. Welcome back everyone. It is about 5 p.m. and we have found somewhere to put up the shelter. So I'll just take you in. It's quite flat. Haven't found any tree roots that are going to keep me awake. And also I've got this kind of fallen tree just here which would be quite useful to sort of hang things on. Got my little lantern. Um, in terms of widow makers, I think we're okay. I've had a little look around and it's all good. So I think what we're gonna do guys is um, not put the shelter up just yet. I mean, it is pretty quiet. I saw one person in the distance about five or 10 minutes ago. Um, it's not due to get dark for about another hour and a half, maybe even two hours. So light is on my side at the moment. The weather's pretty good. So I think it's going to be beer time. I've got this beer, beautiful beer, in my rucksack that I've just been dying to drink all day. So I think I deserve that. So <laughs> I'm going to crack that beer open and um, go from there, I think. Cheers, everyone. That's good. Ooh. Right, I've not seen anyone for about an hour and I'm getting a bit cold and I just want to get on with it now. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just put the shelter up. Yeah, let's just put the shelter up. shelter is up everything is ready inside I just thought I'd uh, do a gym bob outdoors and show you how well camouflaged my shelter is or how well camouflaged I think it is I don't know if you can see it just yet it's just there we are just between those trees just over there and that DD multicam is blending in rather nicely Okay, that's directly behind the top. The top is just there. You might be able to see it. Okay, quick tour inside everyone. Oh, sorry, a bit wobbly. Um, so uh, yeah, spacious as always. Uh, got myself over on the left-hand side. Everything organised over there, including the kitchen area over there on the right. Um, I won't go into loads of detail about kit, but I have got the Climate uh, Insulated Static V sleeping pad, and I've got my silver foam reflector mat, and I've got my Poundland ground sheet underneath. Um, sleeping bag wise, usual for colder months, 
Well, saying that, it's it's meant to be spring here in the UK, but we're having one of the coldest springs at the moment. So I brought out the Mountain Warehouse Everest down bag, four season, meant to be. Um, pillow, decathlon, and then latest purchase over here uh, is my bivy bag, which is from Outkit. And that's the Outkit Hunker XL. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna need that tonight. I mean, that is pretty warm. That's pretty warm. So I haven't put it on yet, I haven't got it out. We'll see how we go, but better safe than sorry. Brought that with me. If you're in the UK, you'll know of this brand. Uncle Ben's pre-cooked rice with golden vegetables, it says. And then, so we're gonna stir fry that. And then we've got some Herta Frankfurter sausages. So we're gonna dice those up, put them in with the rice. Nice and cheap meal. Turned out well. And the secret with a really powerful burner like that, even on the lowest, lowest setting, you have to keep stirring it and turning over that pre-cooked rice, otherwise it's just not gonna work. Um, it's just gonna burn and stick. So stuck a little bit, but actually not as much as I was dreading. So it's that time of the day in the forest where the noises are changing. For those of you that have camped in forests and woods and know exactly what I mean. So all those kind of daytime sounds are starting to fade away and the uh, unusual mess with your head sounds of the night are coming. I think I've heard a couple of owls. Your brain does play tricks with you, doesn't it? I, I just jumped out of my skin at the shadow of my tripod on the tent just now. Went, Ooh. And it's so nice just to stop. It's been a long, long day. And I haven't walked a huge distance, but I think when you've not been doing it for quite a long time, obviously you get out of practice. And so it's a bit more tiring, isn't it? And uh, been a lot of stopping and starting, obviously to make the video for you today, but I've really enjoyed it as well. So, uh, I don't know what time it is. It's probably earlier than I would normally go to bed, but just really tired. So I'm going to hit the sack. So unless anything remotely exciting happens, then I'll see you in the morning. Night night all. porridge have a coffee so feeling a bit feeling human um, sleep last night was a little bit stop star it was all right I slept um, but a little bit intermittent there was quite a bit of noise in the forest there were deer barking and owls hooting and, and all that kind of thing but I have to say bit of a break from the city bit of a break from the city 
temperature wise we got down to about six degrees last night maybe six and a half degrees um, the bivy held out really well uh, so thumbs up for the hunker xl bivy did its job um, only bit i was a bit cold just around my neck so i just kind of just got a bit further down into the bivy and i was absolutely fine Right, so there we are, all packed up. And I've also cleared up everything where I was camping, which was all around here. Done a check, I've taken everything with me. I've even swept the leaves back over. So there's absolutely no trace that I have been to this part of the forest at all. Well, we are very much nearing the end of this little hike, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't liked it, you can always give it a thumbs down, leave it up to you. And do feel free to get in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking as always. Now, if you want a bit more, you fancy watching a few more wild camps or outdoorsy videos, then just over here are a few that you can check out. And if you're not a subscriber, then do hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell and you get your notifications of any future uploads. So thanks for joining me on this one. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.